The Square remaster of the most important Final Fantasy VII spin-off is one of the most impressive games I've ever seen. It's still a PSP game at heart, but it looks and plays beautifully on modern consoles and PC. The remaster was done with care and attention to detail, and it provides a richer experience than the original game did when it was released in 2006. I recently had a chance to play Crisis Core, a Final Fantasy VII prequel that was released for PSP in 2007 and has long been considered a vital part of the Final Fantasy VII lore and universe. Tetsuya Nomura, the steward of Final Fantasy VII, discussed whether this release would qualify as a remake or a remaster, making it hard to categorize. However, after playing it for myself, I now feel I can give an attempt to give it a categorization. The Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion Remake is a remaster that Square Enix has said is perhaps more than a simple remaster. It is, however, a very impressive job at cleaning up and improving a game that was released on a handheld console that was less powerful than the PS2. In terms of graphics, Crisis Core definitely looks more polished than the original PSP game. Some of the character models look similar to those in FF7 Remake, and the textures look similar as well. However, Square Enix has done a great job of using the assets from FF7 Remake in Crisis Core, even using models and textures from the game directly. In stills and sometimes in motion during combat, the graphics look incredible. Unfortunately, the poor quality of the character models becomes apparent when they move. These models are high quality, but they look like they were created for the PSP, which can give the impression that they were from a decade ago. This is because they are. Characters' animations stand rigidly, their mouths moving as a new voice recording is delivered and it often makes it look very awkward. In comparison, the animation in FF7 Remake is incredibly impressive and contributes to the overall magic of the game. The voice acting is of a good quality with many of the same actors, but without the animation to bring the characters to life, the performances don't have the same impact. In another place, this stands out as one of the finest and most shrewd remasterings ever witnessed. My admiration for the work done is especially strong as the team chose to match this experience with that of the Final Fantasy VII Remake, a seemingly straightforward notion, but one that was no doubt challenging to bring to fruition. Though the core of Crisis Core remains unchanged, the UI has been expertly altered and adjusted to match the style of the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Even the post-battle script, which narrates enemies and item gains, is precisely the same. This creates a sense of continuity, uniting the two games and bringing us into a single, cohesive universe. The borrowed artwork and models also aid in this seemingly bridging the gap between the old and the new. The game remains a great, scrappy action RPG that was a pivotal moment in the growth of systems and concepts that were later perfected in the splendid Final Fantasy VII Remake. Although some systems have been adjusted to give a console-like feel, it doesn't seem from this brief experience that the battles of Crisis Core have been altered, meaning you can only anticipate a limited somewhat awkward combat in comparison to the remake of Final Fantasy VII. This is only a remaster though, and for a true remake, we will have to wait for Rebirth. That makes sense. Crisis Core holds a tale worthy of exploration. Of the many Final Fantasy VII spin-offs released in the 2000s, it stands alone as an experience that should not be missed. This revamped edition has a slick and charming aesthetic. It is truly one of the most impressive and attractive remasters I've ever seen. Though it still bears the hallmarks of a PSP game, if you come with that in mind, you're sure to have a marvelous experience. Have you played Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core Reunion? If so, leave a comment below. Or are you interested in playing the game? Have you played the original Final Fantasy VII or the latest remake? Let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, like, share, and subscribe.